Now, we're going to be using a new CSS framework called Tailwind CSS in order to style our front end React.js application. Now, this will hopefully allow us to create an application that doesn't look like your stereotypical bootstrap application and gives us a wee bit of extra style or over some of the competitors for this single page application. Now, in order to get started, you're going to have to navigate into the front end directory and we're going to install Tailwind as well as a couple of other dependencies using npm. So npm install Tailwind CSS, post CSS CLI and the auto prefixer like so. Now the auto prefixer package effectively allows us to use modern CSS within our front end application and handles the ugly side of transforming our CSS into something that all browsers can use and understand. With these dependencies now installed, we now want to add the post CSS config file to our project. Now we can do so by right clicking on front end and adding post CSS post CSS dot config dot JS like so. Now within this, we're going to do the following. So we're going to require the tailwind CSS um, package. And we're going to define module.exports. So module.exports equals, and within this, we're going to define the plugins that we're going to be using. So we're going to be using Tailwind, Tailwind CSS. And this is going to point to tailwind.js. And we're also going to require the auto prefixer package that we've just installed. Now with this config file in place, we now want to start adding some CSS to our package. And we can do so by creating a new folder underneath source, and we're going to call this assets. Now within this, we're going to contain all of our CSS code for our application. So we're going to start off by creating the tailwind.css file. And within here, we're going to do at tailwind base, which will import the base tailwind package. And we're going to import components, components, and the tailwind utilities package like so. Now, next we need to create a main.css file, which is going to be the file that all of our CSS is auto-generated into. We can leave that empty for now and close it. And then finally, we're going to open up package.json and navigate to the scripts block. Now within here, we're going to do the following. So we're going to define a new script or two new scripts, I should say. The first one is going to be build CSS. And this is going to call post CSS. We're going to pass in source assets tailwind.css and this is going to output to source assets main.css and then we're going to do exactly the same with the watch css command like so next we're going to update our start command so that it calls npm run watch css ampersand ampersand and we're also going to do the same for our build command so npm run build, colon, CSS, ampersand, ampersand, React scripts. With these scripts now in place, we also need to remember to initialize Tailwind in our project. So we can do npx tailwind init, passing in the file that we want to generate, and we want the full config. Now, as you can see there, that has generated the tailwind.js file, which contains all of your standard configuration for uh, Tailwind application. Now the final piece of the puzzle is going to be to update the index.js file and we're going to remove the standard index.css and replace it with the import to our main.css file which is the file that we're going to be generating through post.css. With this in place we can now kick off our application once again by calling npm start. And as you can see here it's successfully running the npm run watch CSS and it's kicking off our React development server. Now, when we navigate back to our application within the browser, you can see that nothing has really changed, but we have successfully enabled the use of Tailwind within our project.